Next up is Marty Todd filming his nephew Thomas and their muse, Rambro, a male Arapaho sheep and one very angry ram. Run, man. It's run? Yeah. I'm going first. Okay. <laughs> I'm so glad oh. I'm wearing the skin. <laughs> Their close encounter of the ram kind amused over seven million of us. And as a thank you, they bought Rambro a present. You gotta be careful giving your angry ram a punching bag. He's only gonna get better at ramming. So, does Rambro have serious issues, or is the ram the natural enemy of man? Rams headbutt in order to assert their dominance over other males and ensure that they get the best females during the breeding season. Best females is not a value judgment on my part. This is what the rams think, those that are most fertile and most likely to be able to carry their genes into the next generation. <laughs> Rambro was raised as a pet for a period of time, so he's never sort of learnt to be wary of humans. So when he comes across Marty in the forest, he's quite happy to go and show his dominance by slamming his head into him. Headbutting isn't as painful for the ram as it looks. They practice it while they're young, and every impact thickens the skull. Not only that, but they have very powerful neck muscles that keep their head from twisting to the side when they headbutt. In addition to this, they have these massive horns that are actually keratinous. Uh, they're made out of keratin, the same material as our fingernails and hair. And this buffers their brain somewhat from the impact of these rams. I think Rambo should replace the kiwi as the New Zealand national animal. I mean, you know, do you want to be represented by a small animal that snuffs about in the dirt in the dark or by someone with a little bit of attitude?